Meet Mr. Goodman. You think that you're good? <laughs> He is a very good man. He said to himself, I am a good man. He is so good that if good people will go to heaven, he will be in the first line. He believes that being good and doing good will save him. In contrary, the Bible shows us that we are saved not because of our good works. This case was seen in Cornelius, a Roman centurion. Cornelius was a godly man, that is, a good man. Both he and his household feared God. He often gave alms to the poor. He prayed to God and the Lord heard his prayer. All the above five points prove that Cornelius was a good man. However, he was not a saved man. Yes, he feared God, but he was not saved. He always gave alms, but he was not saved. He prayed to God and God heard his prayer, but he was not saved. Why he was not saved? He was a good man, but he was still a sinner. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. He was a good man. He had all the preceding five good points. But it cannot be said that he had no sin. A man is not without sin just because he honors his parents and is honest, meek, merciful, and compassionate. He was a good man, but he was not yet saved. Uh -oh. He was a good man, but would still die. No matter how many good points a man possesses, he eventually has to face death. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. In Hebrews 9.27, And inasmuch as it is reserved for men to die once, and after this comes judgment. Cornelius thought that as long as he had good behavior and was a godly man, he would be saved. This is absolutely wrong. He needs the gospel of salvation, a revelation from God. That's why, while Cornelius tried to his own to touch God, God appeared to him in a vision, seemingly saying, Go, get Peter. He will show you the revelation of salvation. Only that kind of revelation can save you. The revelation of the gospel is to show that Jesus is the Lord of all and that He is God come as a man to be our Savior. The gospel is to show people that Christ died and resurrected to be the Savior of mankind, to forgive sins and to be life for men. How can a good man be saved? A good man as well as a bad man needs to be saved. A bad man has to repent. A good man also has to repent. A bad man may have a hundred sins to confess, and a good man may have at least ten sins to confess. Therefore, a good man also needs to repent. Just as a bad man needs Jesus to be his savior, so also a good man needs Jesus to be his savior. Whether you are good or bad, you are a sinner. If you realize that you are a sinner and want to be saved, you simply need to repent. That is, turn from trusting on your own goodness and being away from God and turn back to God. Believe in Jesus and all He had did for you and receive Him as your Savior. You can do this by opening your heart and praying this prayer. Lord Jesus, I turn to you. I confess I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. Lord Jesus, I believe in you and all you did for me. Thank you for dying for me. I receive you as my Savior right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.